Now let's talk about where we put our fingers on the clarinet and how to make a sound on the clarinet. Unlike piano, once you set your fingers in place on the clarinet, they don't really travel around. They either press the key or they are lift, lifted and are floating above the key. So our left hand thumb goes beneath the long key and we'll be using it to press the circle ring over that tone hole. As if you were holding a tennis ball in your hand, the curved fingers then come around to the front. And you have finger one, finger two, finger three, each get their own hole. The pinky is going to get these four keys eventually, especially in sixth grade, we will be going over those pinky keys. Your right hand, the thumbnail, actually the cuticle of your nail, goes underneath the thumb rest. Just like your other hand, with a nice curved hand, as if you're holding a tennis ball, your fingers curve around, and finger four, goes five, and six, all get their own tone rings. Your right hand pinky, We'll get all four of these keys here. We'll use those in sixth grade. Now, how do we play the clarinet? The bottom lip goes over the bottom teeth slightly. The reed is cushioned against your lip. Your top teeth will go on top of the mouthpiece. So one, the reed, lip over your teeth. Two, top teeth on the mouthpiece. And then three, I'm going to play the first note in the book. Your thumb presses the first, uh, the thumb presses the thumb key. First finger closes that hole there. The other fingers will be floating over their locations without touching them. One, two, three. The second note in the book is D. I'm sorry, the second note, you lift the first finger and it's F. So thumb only with the, the fingers, other fingers are all floating above. Make sure that your hands do not touch the side keys there. Make sure your pinkies are not touching the pinky keys. Make sure your knuckles are not leaning against that side key there. And also make sure you're not touching the thumb in the back on that register key. So I said the first note was E. The second note is F, thumb only. One, read, lip, teeth, two, tap teeth on the mouthpiece, three, F. Now, you need to use 10 times more air than you did on recorder. Use a lot of air. Next, the third note in the book is G. You don't press any of the fingers down. G, the only thing that's holding the clarinet is your right hand thumb under and the splitting the cuticle there underneath the thumb rest and your mouth including your top teeth so no pressing of any fingers at all for G one two three on page eight we get D D is I think related to E, thumb, first finger, and second finger. Those three depressed, the other fingers floating. One, two, three. And the fifth note of the book is C. Add one more finger down. So we need our thumb, fingers one, two, and three. For C, make sure that your fingers are covering the holes completely 
and that your hand is nice and curved. Your fingers are nice and curved as if they were holding a tennis ball. Here's C. One, two, three. So now let's review the first five notes in the book, but we're going to start from lowest to highest. The first one is C, the lowest note is C, thumb, one, two, three. One, two, three. Lift the finger to get D. Lift another finger to get E. Lift away your first finger so you only have your thumb. This is F. And the highest note is G in which you don't press anything down. The thumb and your teeth hold the clarinet. And with those first five notes, we can play a whole bunch of songs.